Hiya! So today I am going to be filming a TBR style video. I'm sorry if these lines are like, I'm sorry. I, I don't have the, the brain or eye power to really work to adjust it, but that's not important, right? The point that we're talking about here today is what is my end of year TBR? I've actually recently finished my goal for the year. So what's the rest of the year look like? Uh, and I do want to do some videos about like, oh, I've finished my like most ambitious reading goal ever. Or what, what next? And what am I going to do for next year? And how do I feel about goal? Like, I don't know. I have like a whole idea that I want to do. Um, but for now, let's just talk about my uh, November, December TBRs. I have written them down. Um, but the funny thing is I've actually finished two of them. I finished, I wrote Rest is Relaxation, which is very obvious, but it's not the name of the book that I read. I read Rest is Resistance, uh, and I cannot recall the name of the author. I believe it's Trisha's, and I'll, I'll write it, I'll write it here, um, what her name is. And I also finished Journey of the Cent Journey to the Center of the Earth. Uh, both of those are audiobooks, so they're pretty easy to finish. And the last two on my November TBR, uh, I have Tomb of Sand. I'm not going to say anything about this because this has been, um, I need to read this book so bad. Like I need to finish this. Um, so I might actually kind of finish another book and then crack into this for the rest of today. I have several things. I need to get some stuff for Thanksgiving. We want to make lemon cookies. Uh, so I need to get lemons and butter. And then also there's a bookshelf, like built-in bookshelf in this one room in my family house. And it is the most stressful thing I've ever, like I I don't even go in that room and it stresses me out to know that it exists. So I've also been like, I need to do something to quell this beast. Um, so I also need to do that today. Need in quotations. Uh, neither here nor there. Next book on this list uh, is Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Myozi Adichie. A friend lent this to me and I feel bad to say that I have not read a single page. Uh, I've, I, so it, she says, it says author of Americana. I've read half of Americana. This stuff's slipping. I've read half of Americana. I wasn't in love with the writing style. It's just not what I personally enjoy, um, prose wise, but I don't know. She, she really is such a like well-known, well-respected author. I, I, I'm just gonna finish. This I can at least like feel pressure to finish because it's a book that I'm borrowing and I will need to return it eventually. Uh, but America, I'm like I need, I'm I'm going to finish Americana next year. I will do that. I will finish it. Two books that actually aren't on this list, but I brought with me and I do want to finish relatively quickly. Uh, the first one is very cool. It is there is a country new fiction from the new nation of South Sudan, uh, and I apologize for the pronunciation. Edited by Nyol Lueth Tong. And this is, um, I got this at a thrift store in like rural Pennsylvania. And it's just sort of a, a short, um, short collection. I think there's some poetry in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight authors. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, I think I read two of them. I think I read two of these stories and it's very short, but I, I love just the concept of this book and the way it's designed. I think this is, this is really neat. And I need to look up if, where this book can be purchased because I mean, I found it very randomly in a, a thrift shop and I'm so glad I picked it up. And the stories I've read so far were really good. Uh, the other one is Heart of a Dog by Bulgakov. Um, the reason why I wanted to, I've read part of this. I've not, I didn't, I don't believe I finished it because it was assigned reading for a college class. And I think I've only ever finished one book for school. Um, so I want to actually like fully read this. Uh, also very short. And what prompted me to want to revisit this book is a blog post I saw from the library that said this was a critique on eugenics. 
I don't think that's true. So I want to do a video talking about interpretations of this book and especially almost critiquing that interpretation because that one felt so misinformed. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Um, and now to two books that are... Um, Okay, so Purple Hibiscus and Tomb of Sand, those are on my November TBR. Now we're getting into the books on my December TBR. I was smart, I only brought two of them, even though I don't plan on finishing them uh, this month. I brought them with me, that, that's smart. That's what a smart person does. Um, so I don't have like an order for my TBR at this point, but um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna get into why this is making me laugh. But first up on the list is French Concession by Xiao Bai. I've started reading this. The thing is, this is like a good plain book because it's sort of thriller, mystery, good for the train. Um, and because of that, it's like, you, there's a lot of exposition and then it'll probably get into the more interesting parts of the story. But I feel like if you just read it a couple pages at a time, it doesn't have the steam that it needs to have. And that's why I've sort of uh, put this one aside for now. I'm looking for like a good plain slash train ride to really dig into this. Um, but yeah, it's a, about like a 1930s murder that occurs in Shanghai and there's some kind of like mafia type, I don't know if it's, the, I don't know if this is called the mafia or um, like the, the nationalist uh, Guomitang party, I think it's called. Um, the hardest thing about this is the fact that the names are written in the old, um, the old style, not the like pinyin style. So I like, I genuinely am I'm confused as to how to pronounce some of these names. And I had to ask some people and they were like, I think it's this, but I'm honestly not sure. Uh, so people who study Chinese will know what I'm talking about. People who haven't will not know. Um, but yeah, so I have that. Next up is uh, The Elephant Vanishes. Uh, it's just like, it's just a more common thing. I just want to finish it. I've had it. I want to finish it. I don't want to have a lot. I have another... I have this little memoir um, and I just kind of don't want to have a bunch of Murakami sitting around. Like if I have them, I want to read them and then like get new stuff as I desire new stuff. I don't want it to be accumulating on my shelves. Uh, the next books, again, ones I don't have with me, uh, I'm not going to know necessarily the authors of all of these. Um, I have The Mouse That Roared. So when I was in the last city I lived in, I went to a bookshop with some, like a secondhand bookshop with some family and my stepdad pointed out The Mouse That Roared and said, I think you really like this. It's supposed to be satire and it's like this Eastern Europe, tiny Eastern European nation takes over Manhattan and there's a movie made it. Apparently it's really funny. And I got it with him and I just moved to New York. Uh, so I was like, oh, it'd be kind of funny to read this now that I'm new here. But <laughs> I also feel bad because he keeps asking me if I've read it. And I think he thinks I must never read a single book that I buy because I'm like, no, I haven't gotten to it yet. And yeah, so I, that that's like, part of it is the, I want to read this book. The other part of it is I need to prove to this person that I am actually capable of reading. Um, after that, I have The Snow Child. Uh, I forget who wrote this. I believe um, it's like based in Alaska. And it's, to me, it sort of seems almost like a take on the like Snigorichka myths, like the East Eastern European Slavic Snigorichka myths about a girl who's made of snow. And this is, they kind of find this girl and they take her in as if she's, and raise her as, as she's their own. Um, it's almost like she appeared out of the snow. And I just wanna read that because I feel like it's a cozy winter read that's probably really sad. Uh, called Snow Child, reading it in December. Hopefully there'll be snow. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait until the first snow to read that book. Uh, next is The Plague by Camus. I don't know. I was just looking through my books and I was like, what, what should I add to my December TBR? And the thing that's really funny about all of these books, like I'm, realistically, I could probably read the ones that I've listed so far. So from uh, French Concession, Elephant Vanishes, The Mouse at Ward, Snow Child, The Plague. I could probably, if I really tried hard, read all of those in December. The thing that makes this really silly is I've also put on this list War and Peace. Now I know I'm not going to finish War Why is it on this list? I know I'm not gonna finish it. I know I'm not gonna even really make a dent in it with the amount of time I have left in this year. But 
I would like to at least get a little bit further in because I really want to finish one piece and then read some other of my kind of bigger, heftier books. Like I have uh, The Count of Monte Cristo that I really want to read, but I don't want to read that before I finish War and Peace. You know what, I don't, I do this a lot where it's like I will save a book until after I finish other books. And that's kind of what the purpose of this TBR is almost, is to like, oh, here's two really big books I want to read and I'm going to like reward myself with reading them once I finish all these other books. But like, Realistically, I also did that with War and Peace where I was like, oh, I'll read all of these books and then I'll read War and Peace. And um, I'm like 200 pages in and I haven't picked it up in months. So I will do some reading of War and Peace in December. We'll see what else gets done. This is so tentative, so like little asterisks are all over this page. Um, not, in, not in reality, but I, I'll add them in um, because who knows? Um, who knows if I'll be able to finish any of this. Realistically, the best thing to do would be to finish the November TBR early, crack into some of these December books in November. But there's like seven days left in this month. What am I thinking? I can't do that. Um, anyway, I hope you like this. This is a very kind of silly, small little video. I did my really long in Tooth and Air one. And so I wanted something that was just kind of goofy. I want to film a bunch of videos and post them I just want to get it over with I don't want to like I don't know I feel like I've taken like a very long pause and I need to just crack into it and get back in the rhythm and post videos and read books and talk about the books that I've been reading so hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully you also have an end of year TBR or you just read whatever you want to read whenever you want to read it and you don't think about it that's also totally fine um yeah so Thank you, and I hope to see you again in a future video.